my honey so today we are going to be transforming these silly knots okay into the most sleekest bang you have ever seen so we're going to just start by taking these little twists out and then i'm gonna go in with my biotin and all my chi products that i talked about in previous videos a heat protectant some oil just all type of goodness my honey leave in conditioners before we get started because we're going to be using a lot of heat um for this style okay this style should last at least two weeks so you won't have to worry about everyday heat and i'm gonna do section by section and put all that goodness throughout each section and then blow dry it straight so that way my hair is protected it's eating and everything like that when you're blow drying your hair out you want to stretch it with your hands that's why i'm using like two hands one hand is pulling it straight to stretch it and the other hand has the blow dryer so that way it's helping to get it as straight as possible this is when you have that curly hair my honey it's so hard to get it straight but these are just ways that help us to get it straighter i'm now just blow drying making sure it's completely dry okay and Every time I do this process, I be trying to see how much hair loss I have since I had problems with my hair at the top and was losing so much. And that's all the hair that I lost to my honeys in this process. So that wasn't no biggie to me. I'm going back in with some more of the um, Chi Silk Infusion or whatever because, you know, with that heat, that's kind of a protectant and also will give my hair that shine. I take my hair and put it all the way to the top. And then I just start picking out pieces to flat on. When you're flat on and you're here for a silk press, for a sleek anything, you want to use small sections, my honeys, okay? Especially if you have thicker hair. My hair is not really on a thick side anymore to me. So I use, I still use my small sections, but I don't have to go that small. And honeys, that hair is looking good, okay? It's nice and long, but we are going to be doing some cutting, so I don't think it'll be here to last. But once you cut your hair, honeys, it grows back so fast and better and fuller. You're going to go throughout your whole head with this process, my honey. So it's just heat to make sure everything is nice and straight, okay? And the comb that I'm using today, my honey, is Kale's Hair and Beauty. So you can find that at kaleshairandbeauty.com. I'll leave it below or I'll put it up on the screen, okay? It's a braid and comb, so it helps to part and get those straight parts. But I just use it for whatever. I am now starting to build how I want my style to lay out, okay? So, I do a nice little curved part. You don't really want to just going straight back like that. I like to have it curved. It gives it a little more definition to the style and just makes it cute. But I am trying to look and see if that's how low I want my um, bang to actually swoop or if I want it higher or lower. However, okay, this is you just trying to pinpoint exactly what you want to do. So once your parts and everything is set, all you really want to do is have to just go in and start the ponytail process and everything else. So we'll get to that in a little bit, my honey. And once you get your parts set and everything, my honeys, we're going in with some more heat. Okay, these are my Andes uh, straightening comb. And I love it, love it, love it. But just for that part area, my honeys, I would want that to be the sleekest because that's the first thing they're going to see when they see you is, how's that part land? Okay, how sleek is it actually? So around that little area where the part is, and then around the um, side right there where I'm picking out my baby hairs, I would want that to be as straight as possible. So I go ahead with the straightener comb. Then I pull out some hairs that I'm going to be leaving out or swooping or making baby hairs with. 
and then I start the process of everything else so as we all know my um hair at the top okay it fell out I do have a video coming my honey's on that it's gonna be my testimony or whatever but I had eczema at the top of my head real bad and I didn't know what it was and I let it prolong and, and that's when corona first started and I couldn't even go to the doctor. They like FaceTime me or something. Talking about, oh, it's just this and that. And it's, I said, I need something for this. What is it? And he told me it was eczema. So he gave me something. I've been using that. And my hair has grown back. But it's just not the same. So at this point, I had to add tracks at the top. Just to give me a little more thickness for my swoop. Okay. So I'm going in with my bed head. You can also use the Gosta V spray and the yellow can. Um, and then I'm about to start molding. So I needed the bed head, the blow dryer, you need your skinny comb, okay? So I go in with this brush and it's just, you know, a bristle brush with a million tiny bristles. That's going to get your hair to be nice and smooth and sleek looking, okay? From spraying that stuff in there, also to putting your oils and everything, once all that mixes together with that brush, it gives you a shine. It doesn't have that wave to it like, you know, um, if you have real curly hair. It takes all of that out, okay? So all that heat on top of the spray and brushing it through, you won't see a wrinkle okay you won't see a wrinkle everything will be nice and sleek that brush i will leave in my amazon store down below along with everything else that we use on this channel my honey so make sure you check that out in the description okay and as i always say my honey this is a fast process okay your hair will curl back up if you have curly hair so the fact that i put the oils and everything through it it won't curl as quick but it's still a quick process. So you put your spray, okay? Now you see that I'm trying to have a sideburn. You don't want to put that much so it's going to be running down your face and everything. But I surely do put enough of it. So therefore, um, once I dry it, it is dry, okay? Like a helmet. <laughs> We're not going into using no Gorilla Spray, okay? We're not doing that. We're going to just use regular hairspray. Any of your choice. But... <laughs> I definitely um, know that once you spray it, you need to hurry up and have everything in front of you. Comb through it, brush through it, dry it instantly. Because the longer you let that wetness sit on curly hair, it's going to curl right back up. And your ponytail won't be sleek. It's just going to have a wave pattern, okay? And we don't want a wave. We want a nice, straight, sleek pony. This brush here is what men would use for their waves. And guess what? I came across it and I love it for styles like this. I love it for ponytails. I love it for, you know, stuff like that. Just because it's soft and it really gets through the hairs and, look, makes it nice and sleek and straight. Versus things I've used before, my honeys, I always had some waves somewhere. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't just sleek. It was some type of waviness. But I'm using my 24-hour edge control at this point to get my baby hairs going. I love this edge control. It really doesn't turn white on me because y'all know I will put my head strip on that little paper and then I use a little bit of uh, Gorilla Snot or whatever and mix it and it doesn't turn white. But this edge control as well is a fast process, my honeys. Once you put it on, the reason that it turns white is because it's starting to dry. Okay, so when it starts to dry, you want to already be completed your baby hair you know what i'm saying you don't want to still be combing on it and this and that because that's what turns it white so um i have this video going in real time for my honeys because that's just what i do but um i put enough on there that i'm i'm able to get to it and control what i need to be done and i use that different comb i wasn't going to use my comb because it was making parts in there that's why you guys if you're braiders go get that comb because them parts is going to be perfect but for this style, no. I don't want parts in my swoops. So I have found that little brush thing. You know, on one side it's a comb, the other side it's a brush. I know everybody has that or they just use a toothbrush. So that's what I'm using for these baby hairs. And 
you just want to be quick with this process too honeys and get it done because yeah that's when it would start uh turning white when you get to keep messing with it and it dries I'm going to help it to dry as well, my honey. So I'm not going to be really worried about it turning white. So I'm going to spray my spray on there because I want to get the areas that I didn't put the edge control on, you know, also to sleekly lay down as well. So I'm just blending everything at this point. So once you done set your baby hairs and everything, then you will want to just take your brush or your good comb and blend that back area, okay, with some more spray and then brush it through and then dry it. I put a little spray on that edge too, okay, because I want all that to just look seamless. I don't want it to look like I had to comb that hair in there. And the only way you're going to get that look is if you don't dig your comb into the part that you have already dried and sprayed, okay. You're just laying that hair, that excess hair from the baby hairs on top of that. So you're going to be just as gentle as you can. That's why I use that brush because the brush is not going to dig into what I have already molded. Okay, it's just going to lay it right on top. And that way it just looks seamlessly blended and it doesn't look crunchy and all of that extraness. Okay, I used to have problems with that at some point, but I figured it out. Okay, and of course I want to have me some type of hair hanging on my um, sideburn side. That's just me. I'm extra or whatever. <laughs> but this is a low pony, you know, and I feel like the type of pony we're doing, which is that knot, it was cute with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll with it, my honey. Now we're moving along to the bang, okay? Just brush everything down in a direction where you want it to lay, all right? We're going to be swooping that area back. So we're just going to kind of play with it at first just to see exactly how we mold it. Because once you spray on it, my honeys, that's going to be it, okay? So... Make sure it's already to where you need it to be, and then we'll start the spraying process. And when I start that process, I like to start right at the back of the bang. Okay, I like to get that part nice and molded. That's the easiest part that you're going to do out of this whole process. But I'll spray my spray on there, and I spray enough spray, my honey, so that therefore when I brush it through or comb it through, you know, it's getting through all the hair. So then when I dry it, it is molded, locked, and loaded. And y'all know I use grease. So I need a nice amount of spray on there to kind of even help that grease to set as well. Because then your bang would just be, or even your ponytail would just be soft. Okay, it'd be sleek, but it'd be soft. And it won't last for no two weeks. It probably won't even last for a week because it's soft. It's not molded, okay? You're trying to build this style to make it last. Don't nobody got time to do their hair every other day. I do, but I know most of my honeys don't. So, <laughs> you want to have this hairstyle to last. You want to spray that stuff on there, okay? Make sure you spray it on there good. And stay organized, my honeys. If you stay organized with any style, you won't get frustrated. And that style will come out perfectly. So, we already started at the back of the swoop. We're moving on down, okay? So, I am at this point focusing more on the actual swoop, okay? But I have moved down from the back. So, we're just going to keep inching on down till our swoop is formed. But at this point, when you brush your next, once you spray your hairspray and you get to brushing it through, don't just brush it through that section, okay? Make sure you're brushing and combing it to form the swoop, to go where you're going to want it to go, okay? So... Even though I sprayed it over closer to the uh, actual swoop, when I went to brush it out, I kind of brushed it and was curving it, okay? So, therefore, it won't just be stuck in one direction. And then when I do everything else, you know, it won't be flexible enough because it's already molded straight. You want it to mold curved, okay? So, I've moved down a little bit to the forehead and I'm going in. I got my brush. I'm spraying that stuff through. Most of that is the weave. So I'm not really worried about it, you know, curling back up. But as I am brushing it through, I am not gonna, just going to brush it. I'm not just going to spray it, brush it, and dry it, okay? I am still molding my swoop. So I am sprayed it down by the forehead, but I'm also brushing over, you know, in areas that I didn't spray because, therefore, whatever spray is on the brush will hit those areas too and it's kind of just distributing it everywhere okay but 
I am molding, 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 okay? I'm making sure that this bang looks right before I spray it. And I'm making sure it's swooped right all over my eye, under my eye, above my eye. However you swooping it. Before you go drying on it, my honeys, make sure it's in place of how you want it. You're looking in the mirror, you see, okay, this don't look right. Let me fix it before I dry it. So that's pretty much all it is because uh, when it's wet, it's very flexible, okay? But when it's dry, you can do nothing with that. You'll be a lost cause having to wet it again and then you're going to cause yourself to have flakes and all of that because you're going to have to recomb through dryness and all of that previous spraying you did now you got to redo it like it'll be a mess it'll be gooky and it'll be a mess Perfect. And here's you guys' favorite, okay, baby KJ. He is such a dang on mess. I'm in here trying to record and look at him. <laughs> Playing in the makeup, doing this, doing that. I have almost gotten organized, my honey, so that therefore everything is put up so that this little one cannot get to it. But Lord Jesus, honey, I don't know where he finds this stuff. And he was all into my little black makeup, put, thinking he's doing some makeup. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's cute. It's adorable. But, no. It's like, I can't even watch him because I'm trying to make a video and I'm trying to do my hair. So, at this point, my honeys, I am still building on this bang. Okay? This is not a quick process. Don't rush it. Okay? Take your time and um, use your brush and swoop and spray section at a time. Don't go spraying one whole section because, like I said, you're going to go in and you're going to have to comb through it to fix it to match with another section. You want this whole sleekness and this whole swoop to look seamless. You don't want it to look, you know, just everywhere, okay? You just want it one swoop. And then that's it, no wrinkles. Now, here I am trying to keep my little sideburn out or whatever. So, you don't have to have two sideburns or whatever, but that's just me. And then on top of that, it's like when you're going to swoop it, that little thing be in your way. And if you are a beginner, you don't want to have the hassle of pulling the sideburn out and then messing up your swoop too. So, I recommend you not have both sides, okay? <laughs> so, the whole point of this is to have small bristles small comb okay i'm going in with that brush on that um edge uh comb thingy or whatever and i did kind of spray myself in the eye <laughs> don't spray yourself in the eye my honey cover that eye up before you go spraying anything so um i'm using that so that everything could just be nice and seamless and flat and you don't want no lumps and bumps all through your swoop so I went on ahead and swooped that back part around to get that out the way. Now all I'm doing is blending the excess swoop from the front of the bang to that. So that's going to be the easy part. So it's just levels to this swoop, my honey. You don't just go in swooping. You really got to go from one section to another in order to achieve it. And that's why I made this video so you guys can see exactly how I do it. And I hope that this video works for you guys. And, you know, you see like, oh, that's it. I've been doing it like that. You know, I don't know. But if it is helpful, my honeys, don't forget 
to go ahead and share it and if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe at this time okay like this video if it's very helpful to you because you know i come to spell i do not come to play so hit the notification bell so you will know every time i drop a video because they all are very informational and um i try to do some different type of segments because all we really do is hair but I know you guys liked it, that last video with me talking about the guys, okay? That, that was fun. That was real fun. So we'll get into more of those. Those should be something easy, quick, and simple so that when I go missing, I could just sit up there and record one of them videos and post it. And it's like, okay, boom. Being more consistent. That's all, my honey. So, anywho, we're just going to keep spraying our little sections that's not down, that's not molded. And we're going to make sure we go in and comb that stuff through and before you dry it you see how i'm doing i'm taking my finger making sure it's flat before you dry it you know you take your brush your comb and you comb the lumps out you need everything needs to be done before you dry uh, if not it's, it could be a complete mess okay so i just got the stiff neck there while i'm drying it because i don't want nothing to move and i ain't gonna let that back part go until i know that that um the part that i'm drying is even at least midway dry okay you don't you want to hold it down while it's wet and then when it's at least halfway dry you can let it go and assist the uh dryer in doing this thing but um if you let it go you know it ain't gonna do nothing but be shriveling before it dries so that's why i just keep it tight and tightly so we got our swoop swoop whoop. <laughs> We got our swoop. Everything went back. I think it looks good. I'm satisfied. If I was in my honey, don't think for a second. I want to go back up in there with that spray. Whether it be flaky or not, I'll spray some black hairspray over it and call it a day. But I'm now going over, touching up everything with that spray, making sure everything is nice and glossy. And, you know, I'm done with the style. So the, hair, the extra added hairspray just gives me more security of a long-lasting style and that shine and i don't want no soft areas because i use grease and stuff like that so i'm just making sure everything is nice and molded my honeys Okay, my honey, so this is just one bundle, okay? It's an 18-inch bundle. I don't know if you guys remember, I had three of them. So I just be using them for ponytails, sew-ins, whatever. But I don't like cutting at my bundles because, you know, when I go to do stuff like this, I have a whole bundle to do it with. So I just put that in, and I still wrap my little piece around to hide my track, okay? And then after that, I just took it and started wrapping it, okay? It don't have to be a bone-straight ponytail. I just knew that this ponytail was sitting in this crate i got over here full of hair so i didn't want it to be too nappy looking so i just kind of went over it quickly and briefly with some heat but other than that my honey it ain't got to be nothing spectacular it doesn't even have to be a human hair ponytail when you're doing this style okay you can go get you a nice little um five dollar um bundle thing or whatever and um wrap it on up it doesn't even matter now i went on and wrapped this and kept wrapping it and then i used the hairpin to kind of lock and load it each time i wrap around i comb that hair out or whatever just so it won't look too shaggy but i've been seeing shaggy ponies too sh shaggy knots rather and they've been kind of cute they're kind of cute like you know just not it's, it's a messy bun type of thing and it, it's cute but i'm just sleeking it because my hair is sleek so um as i am wrapping it my honeys I noticed, you know, a couple things that I could have did different or whatever. But for the video sake, I just went on ahead, wrapped it, and, and let you guys see that end result. But I did end up redoing that um, ponytail or whatever, rewrapping it or whatever. Because as I was wrapping it, I should have been putting pins too. 
when I wrapped it and completed it and put that one pin, it all unraveled, you know. So when I had to rewrap it, I just did it and added pins as I wrapped around. And then that was that. So, and then it stayed. And I had this in for about two weeks or whatever, okay. But at this point, my honeys, this is it, okay. It's a real-time video. I didn't really fast-forward anything. I know you guys be seeing little thumbnails like, oh, yeah, I needed that a video like that. And then by the time you watch it, it's just so sped up. You miss parts, you know. So, I be trying to just keep it 100 with my honeys. This is a 26-minute video, and that's kind of short for us because we always hitting 30 or better. <laughs> And thank you guys that do not skip a beat on Kales, okay? You guys are always in the comments. You guys are just always interacting with me. So we're going to sit back and we're going to look into doing more on this channel. You know, more natural hair, more braids. I know that's what you guys like and miss. But just stay tuned, my honeys. It's coming. And at this point of the video, <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one. Uh, 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 the next one. Uh, Bye, guys. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.